Hello, my name is Luke, and I'm here to show you the good stuff, stuff that is going to make you better music faster if you follow exactly what I do uh, to an absolute T. I'm just joking. Creativity is all about exploration. And I want to show you what I'm doing in my creative travels to make my life a little bit easier and to help me finish songs quicker um, with just little tips, tricks, ideas, right? So I've got a really good one for you today. I've been making music for a long time and I've always wanted to know how to get that extra 5%, that extra bit of source in my productions and I figured it out. This is not just the one exclusive way but it's one of the ways that you can have plenty of source and it's through vocal ear candy effects, right? That kind of vocal source effects, you hear them and go, oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. So I'm going to show you three examples today that I'm using in this song here. Uh, the song that I am using uh, is called Flatline, it's one of my own, I released it relatively re recently. So I'm going to play you from the intro through to the chorus. If you've heard the song, skip a couple of minutes ahead, but if not, take a listen and then we'll break down some of the vocal things that I'm doing in here to give it the extra source. Too many times I lost count Too many I've been underground Skin crawling but I'm used to it Heart done but that's the way it is I never doubt it, but it's way off Blade so clean in the heart Everybody murmured in the town You and I gotta let it slow down, 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 down Slow it down, 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 down So tell me, are we through again? Breathing in feels tight in my chest Okay, we'll stop there because I've actually, as up to this point, all three uh, vocal effects have appeared. So let's break it down. The first one is this intro here. Okay, and what this is, this is a formanted vocal, right? It's kind of pitched. So you take uh, the formant of the voice which is kind of like the placement of where you would sing it okay so i can talk like this or i can talk like this or i can talk like this behind my nose you can kind of dictate how the vocal sits and this is doing it post processing right and the easiest way to do this is with a pitching plugin so the vocal that i'm using is actually from the pre-chorus section in the intro and what i did was i bounced out the dry vocal and then i added uh, this plugin onto it which is called Little Alter Boy. There it is. And it looks like this. And then I just pulled the formant down, right? So tell me, are we through again? Right, and that is how I got that effect. That is some saucy vocal effects. And it sounds great. You can use that all over your track if you like. There are some other alternatives out there. If you have the Slate Digital Bundle, which I do, they've got MetaPitch which also has the same function here. This has the formant you can pull down. So tell me are we through again? Right, so you can make it sound real nasally if you like. There are a couple of other options. I think Logic does also have its own. Uh, your DAW will have its own as well. I'm using Logic Pro X. If I go to Vocal Transformer here, you can see if I just make this a little bit bigger, they really need to update this UI, don't they? We have the formant option here. I can pull that down. So tell me are we again? Okay, exactly the same effect. That's really, really cool. And so that is one of the ways that you can add a little bit of vocal source. And that's what I'm doing to the beginning of the track here. Nice. The next thing is actually this little uh, vocal effects here coming into the verse here. Take a listen. Just solo it. I absolutely love the sound of that. It sounds so, so good. Now, the way that I got that, because again, I'm a sucker for doing things quickly, was I took my vocal and I just bounced it out, okay? So in Logic, that's Control B, and then I just bounced out the uh, v first part of the vocal here, so that looks like this now. Too many times I lost. All right. And then what I did was I went to my effects and to my plugins and I added a case of portal. 
and portal is from output there it is and this is just like a multi effects unit if you want some creative effects you just open this up and go nuts so i just sifted through these different effects to find something that i wanted i can't quite remember uh which one that i chose uh but let's go for uh let's go on there's actually a vocal section here isn't it uh, vocals right there if i just click on something here and then play it so that's what's the end right I mean, that sounds pretty fun. And then you can go over here and adjust this parameters. I really like the sound of that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight it and I'm gonna bounce this in place. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna bounce the effect in place. It's so much easier to do this, trust me. Let me just crank that so I can see the audio file. And there we go, here is the audio file that's been bounced. And then what I did was I essentially took whatever audio sort of effect I've had, I got rid of the outsides there, and then I reversed it. And I can do that in Logic by pressing Shift, Option, and R to reverse it. Or I can go up to this little area here and click on the reverse button like that, and you'll see it reverses the audio file like that. And then I just can move that to lead into the song. So you can see I've put these here. I can do the same thing here. and like that i might even fade it in actually let's see how that sounds i'm just going to turn off my original effects here okay it sounds all right it's not the best i prefer these effects that i did but you want to play around i'm just sort of showing this to you as the example uh, but you would play around and find something that suits you and that's what i did there so that is a really great way to get some good effects if you don't have portal you can just use your own delays and reverbs, okay? Feel free to get experimental, add some guitar plugins, right? Um, most DOWs will come, will come with some kind of effects on there. So as I said, delays, choruses, phasers, flangers, reverbs, whatever you want, add them up, stack them up, experiment, pitch it, right? And then bounce it out and reverse it and see how it sounds, okay? That is how you get some additional vocal source. And then the final one that I'm just going to show you here is one going into the chorus. And I absolutely love this one. This is one of my favorite vocal effects here. Uh, let me just find the beginning of the chorus. There it is. Okay. It is um, the You Cut Me Up here. So if I just solo the lead vocal bus here, you'll see how it changes. Breathing in feels tight. Listen to it coming up. You cut me up. So. And it happens again here. You call me up. And so to add some additional vocal sources to actually change how the vocals sound with the processing. So you can see we've got some relatively clean vocal takes uh, with this one here and also this one down here. But then we have these really dirty, gritty, wide ones here. And I'll show you what I'm doing on them. It's really simple. I'm just using the same processing that I've got on my clean vocals here. But I just add one extra plugin. In this case, it's Effect Rack by Sound Toys. If I open it up here. What I'm doing is I'm adding Devil Lock. This is an audio destroyer. This compresses and saturates the life out of audio. Uh, I absolutely love it. And I'm mixing that in relatively high at six. I'm then adding a bit of treble with the mixer amp here, uh, the radiator mixer amp. Uh, and that's just giving it a bit more high end. And then I'm adding micro shift. And this is what is panning it left and right. And I've got the mix kind of in the middle there. So again, if I just solo um, the, that vocal, I'll take this effect off. You call me up. And now with it on. You call me up. I mean, wow, geez. I mean, the difference is insane. I absolutely love this. And it just gives me this kind of aggressive moment, right? And so once you mix your vocals in a certain way, you don't just have to keep it like that, or you produce them in a certain way. You don't have to keep them there. You can change where they sit and what they do. And so that's one of my favorite things to do. And in fact, little bonus tip for you here, actually, a uh, little bonus fourth one is just vocal throws. Okay. If you don't know what a throw is, it's where you take a segment of your vocal and you add some delay or reverb and you just throw it in kind of randomly, maybe at the end of a phrase. And then you kind of have the tail end of that last word, if that makes sense. So for example, if I look at my lead vocal here, I've got a vocal throw just here. Down, down. On that down, can you hear how we have all that reverb coming in? Down, down, down. Right, that is coming from this vocal throw here. Basically, all you do is 
You just bounce out the part that you want to throw. In this case, it is the end section here, this down. And then I put that onto a new track and then I just added a bunch of delays, reverbs, compressions, soothe, and then some channel EQ just to tame the actual frequencies. And that is how we got this sound here. Right, and they just add like an additional bit of extra source, right? I also throw it in again here. Just there, that's in the chorus. That's a slightly different throw. This is more focused on the delay. So I'm just using Comeback Kid for that. But you can use any delay. Okay, so that is some of the things that I do to add a bit of extra vocal ear candy, throw in that extra vocal source to give your track that little more oomph. Try it in your next song. Let me know how you get on. If you like this kind of video, do let me know down in the comments. Like, subscribe, follow for more, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.